guys, it is Sarah, and today we're gonna talk some more NaNoWriMo. So, over my time as a NaNoWriMo-er, I have acquired a few very good strategies, I feel, for kind of mentally preparing myself for the feat that is NaNoWriMo. Preparing for NaNoWriMo is a very, very important thing to do unless you are a sadomasochist. So we're just gonna talk about everything besides the actual story. Cause this is everything else that is encompassed in the NaNoWriMo time. So actual story aside, the number one thing that you should kind of make sure you know before the NaNoWriMo starts. What? tools are you going to be using for NaNoWriMo? This is very important. Are you going to be using pen and paper? Are you going to be using just like a Word document? Are you going to be using Scrivener? Are you going to be using your phone? A text-to-speech contraption thing? I don't know, but I would really recommend deciding now what you want to do and then testing it out. So yeah, if you're writing with a pen and paper, just maybe start writing a lot more than you normally would to kind of make sure that your hand isn't going to get all crampy and weird and annoying. Same goes with a Word document. So if you're using Scrivener, which there is a free trial for if this is your first time doing NaNoWriMo. Scrivener is like the main promoted program for writing and I really was hesitant to pick it up because I thought it was so confusing and so annoying. But actually now that I've kind of sat through a bunch of tutorials on YouTube, which I would recommend, give it a try. It is just like all of your research and your random crap compiled into one solid document. You don't have to keep going random places for things. It's just like a binder on your computer and it is so good. But yes, yeah, so just make sure you know how you're gonna be writing this and that you have it planned out and there's no kinks and you know how to use whatever medium you so choose to use. So give it a test run. Give it a test run. The next thing that I would recommend before NaNoWriMo is to write. But I really think that writing every day leading up to NaNoWriMo or maybe every other day is really great because the whole point of NaNoWriMo, it will, I mean my take on the whole point of NaNoWriMo is to kind of get yourself into, you know, a pattern of writing every day. If you're just dropped in like out of nowhere and you're not used to writing that much, it could be super overwhelming. So start now. Maybe write like 500 words a day. One of the things that I love to do is the subreddit are writing prompts on the Reddit website. Essentially, every day, tons and tons of prompts are posted and you are encouraged to write a short response to it. It doesn't matter how long it is, you just type like crazy and you can post it or you can just not. But just getting into the habit of writing every day is a really good idea because then it's not so overwhelming when it is actually November. Another thing that I would recommend is to go to the NaNoWriMo forums. They're fantastic, they're completely open now so you can go and look at everything. So go there, look at what other people are talking about, get involved in the forums, get it out of your system so that when it's actually November you're not wasting time on the NaNoWriMo forums. I know I do that a lot. I have a problem. I love those forums so much. Like I just lurk on them for forever and I don't have to do any writing because I'm like, oh, this is NaNoWriMo related. I can justify this. There's so much advice and like plot building and motivational stuff. It's just such good stuff. Just go, go you human, go check it out. The next thing I would recommend is to go for walks or hikes or just exercise-y things. Walks in particular are just so good at clearing your mind, so don't bring your phone. Well, bring your phone, but don't go on your phone, just in case of an emergency. But put your phone away. <laughs> Casually stroll down the street, and if you can't necessarily do that, plan on having some sort of like a family walk, hike thing. Maybe go to the mall and just like walk around and like look at people and make up fake stories for them in your mind. Listen to what people are talking about in a totally non-creepy way way, don't be obvious that you're listening, and just like listen to how they're talking and how they're speaking and getting their ideas across. Take it in and maybe get inspiration for something that you didn't know you needed or just get out of the house. Get out of the house occasionally. The next is like a fun one for me and that is to create a cozy writing space. So I don't really have a desk at my parents' house um, because there's no room. So just like clear your own little writing space and just put all your stuff, maybe some inspirational writing quotes, maybe some writing books, kind of pile them around you. Just like create your own little space, decorate it, make it all cute. 
that's always a good thing. Just get yourself in the mindset of when you're in this specific spot, you are going to be writing, and that is what you're going to be doing. Yeah, you get what I mean? It's fun. Another very important thing is to get ahead of your November responsibilities. Nobody is responsibility free, and if you are, shut up. I hate you and I'm jealous. People have school, people have jobs, people have dirty houses, so try and do as much now so that you don't have to do it in November. So what I mean by that is give your house like a deep clean, clean your room. If you have homework you know that's gonna be due in November, see if you can kind of finish it now or start working on it now so that it's not this daunting thing in November. If you know there's something happening in November, try and take steps to alleviate the stress when you're trying to NaNoWriMo and continue to live your life. Because I know I'm a college student, I work, gotta clean stuff, gotta do chores, all those kind of things. So just like giving your house or your room or your backpack or your desk or your phone, just like deep clean everything. Obviously things will get dirty between now and then, but not as dirty if you hadn't have already cleaned it. Know what I mean? Another fun thing to do is to work out your music playlists. If you're like me, I love writing to music and it just helps kind of zone out everything else that's going on around me. I listen to like simple symphonies, orchestra music, just kind of background soundtracks that have no talking in it and if it's, there is talking it's gotta be like Latin bullshit. Stuff that I cannot understand. I like to use Spotify and just like YouTube playlists. Just kind of creating what you want to listen to when you're writing. Maybe make like a happy one and a sad one and a whatever. Just go crazy and like set yourself up so that you have kick-ass writing music. And on the NaNoWriMo forums, going back to those again, there is a amazing post. I will link it below where people are just like posting links to their playlists. So if you are interested in that, go check it out because music helps me write a lot better if it's just like the right one. You know what I mean? Okay, and so the last miscellaneous tip to do before NaNoWriMo is to stock up on stuff. Yes, stuff. So stuff encompasses a lot. For one, it could be stocking up on books that have to do with writing. Maybe get them from the library or buy them or borrow them or whatever. Get them now. That's super helpful. Just like get them now, stock up on that. Next thing is to stock up on delicious, delicious snacks that are super easy. You just grab them and go. This doesn't have to be unhealthy, but you know, there's gonna be some Halloween candy all up in this business. Diabetes will not stop me from this at all. So, I mean, baby carrots are cool, vegetables are cool, candy, whatever. Just kind of stuck up on some things that you can reward yourself with afterwards. Those kind of things, it's so good. Just like stock up on socks and sweaters and cozy shenanigans, that's so cool. But yes, so these are all of my tips for just kind of pre nano rhymoing. And please, please, please let me know down below what I have forgotten. What are your tips and your tricks? If you're participating or if you have participated, tell me. We could talk about the nano rhymo. And it's so much fun. And I have a link down below. I have so many links, but this one is to my. NaNoWriMo account, so add me as a friend and we can chat. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my video. My name is Sarah, and I will see you guys later.